All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the Shishir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and the sincerity. I want to go on this topic of basically, um, we are all on probation uh, before judgment. And, um, you know, you you also try a man's character by giving him power. <clears throat> now, what I mean by that, okay, uh, it's kind of like two videos wrapped in one. Um, but I'm going to try to make this as quick and um, as edifying as I possibly can, you know, through the, uh, you know, spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shabbat Shem Rekha Kodas, okay? Um, I'm going to this definition of character, which the word character is the mental and moral qualities distinctive to an individual, okay? Now, when a person is on probation, okay, that person, you know, more than likely they fucked up, okay? And they got to get their uh, shit together, okay? Now, some people, you know, they get out of jail, they get on probation, and they, you know, they get the, the, the ability to to do what they uh what they can to uh you know so that they're on good behavior and then the moment that they fuck up they write back up in the pen you know now with this this truth we're basically on probation because we fucked up in the world okay and you know before the lord judges us you know on whether we're actually uh sincere or you know um reprobate okay uh the lord uh ha sends us through this trial okay to, to test our character okay by giving us the power okay to to do um you know to which you really don't have the power because the scriptures and um uh let me get it proverbs uh the book of proverbs 20 and uh, 24 it says man's goings are of the Lord how can a man then understand his own way you know so everything that we do in this society in this life you know the Lord ultimately decides what we what we do and the way that we go okay with our life now um, the Lord gave us you know the ones that are called into this truth okay the power, okay, which the power is, you know, in, in his name, okay, in his doctrine, okay, which, you know, his name is Yahweh, the Most High, and his son name is Yahweh Shah, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, okay, he gave those of us that are called, you know, the power to check and see what our personality is, okay, what what, what our qualities are, what our nature is, if we're able to get back to, to, to nature, disposition our temperament or temper if we could you know have self-control it says our mentality what is your mentality like when you when you uh get this uh this power man okay are you going to prove that you that you are worthy of uh keeping this power okay it says your makeup features or qualities property traits it says spirit to see what your spirit is. Okay. It says essence. Okay. Which I like that where I'm going to, you know, I'm going to look that up. Identity. Ethos. Okay. Look that up too. It says complexion, tone, feel or feeling. Okay. Now. The definition for ethos. Let's lock you. to bugging out right now Satan don't want this word to get out man all right uh, the definition for uh, essence is the intrinsic nature of this indispensable quality of something especially something abstract 
that def determines its character. Okay? And what determines our, our character? The, the spirit that, that is actually in us. Okay? If you actually are a part of the elect, then the, 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 the elect is going to keep what's inside the Bible. Okay? And, and they're going to hold on to it. Okay? Um, then it said, uh, ethos. Okay, the characteristic spirit of a culture, era, or community is manifested in its beliefs or in aspirations. You know, and that, uh, a scripture that comes to mind with that <clears throat> is, uh, the book of Romans 9 verse uh, 6. It says, uh, not as though the word of God have taken none effect, right? Because it did. The, the word of the Lord has taken effect. Okay, and we are able to tell who, who's really sincere and who's not, right? It says, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So just because you call yourself an Israelite, okay, that don't mean anything. You still have to prove yourself, okay, which leads me to this definition for uh, probation, okay, which I got the Wik from Wikipedia. It says probation and criminal law, okay, which... um. Get that definition of criminal. A person who has committed a crime. A lawbreaker. We broke the laws. Okay? The laws, statutes, and commandments that the Lord, Yahweh Shemir Al-Sai, gave us. Okay? We're all crooks. Okay? Felons, if you want to uh, call it that, man. Okay? It says cruel or wicked. The things that we did in the past, in our past life, was cruel and wicked, man. Okay? It says, as a period of supervision over an offender. Okay? The Lord puts put us in, in, into uh, probation. Okay? Which, you got to understand that everything that you do, it's being jotted down by the angels, okay? Uh, the, the, the men of the Lord are taking note. You know, they're, they're supervising. Because it's an order and it's truth, man. Okay, and a lot of people can't handle that, you know? That it's a, a order to this, this truth, man. Okay, that you have to be supervised, okay? If you're, if you're an offender, man, okay? And, and that supervision comes, you know... Through the spirit and power of, you know, y'all by some y'all side, but it hey, also set up, you know, camp leaders, you know, to, to, to supervise too, man. It says, ordered by the court instead of serving time in prison. Right? That so it's basically a period of supervision. I mean, yeah, supervision over an offender, ordered by the court instead of serving time in prison. Okay? And and you know, pretty much the Lord, Yahweh. The Most High, Yahweh Bashem is uh is judge, man. Okay, he's the judge, and you know, be, before things happen, he 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 sets he sets up the order of you know what he wants to, to happen. Okay, well you know this guy he was he was doing this. Well, I want you to go um, you know I want you to go do this. You know he tells that to his angels, you know, to go supervise his uh his men. Okay. And, and, and see what they doing. And the angels report that back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Sa. Okay? Um, it says, An offender on probation is ordered to follow certain conditions set forth by the court, often under the supervision of a probation officer. During the period of probation, an offender faces the threat of being incarcerated if found breaking the rules set by the court. Or probation officer. And what's that incarceration? Being being put to death, man. Okay? The, the the threat is there, man, that you know the Lord is going to destroy America. Okay? It, it says a trumpet is being has been blown. You know who's so who's so but fear, man. Okay. So uh continuing on. Before we uh came into this truth, you know, we was all defiled. Okay, was the word the etymology of the word defiled from 14th century? 
It says to desecrate, profane, to make foul or dirty, to trample down, violate. Okay, and, and hey, we was pretty much, you know, in, in uh, a swine state of mind. Okay, and a lot of these people out here in this world, they're in a swine state of mind. That's why the scriptures say, cast not your pearls before swine. You know, before you 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 uh, found out the, 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 the truth in the Bible, you know, nine times out of ten, you was trampling over the Bible. You know, and you didn't even know it because you was the foul. Okay. Um, it says ill treat dishonor. You wasn't honoring the father how you supposed to suppose that been. A person who cleans and thickens cloth by stamping it. Um it says to render foul, make unclean and pure. Okay? To become foul or rot. Okay. Now I'm gonna get this scripture, Mark seven and twenty twenty. And he said that which comes out of him out, out of the man that defiles the man. Okay, which that means that would make the man unclean. Okay, for from within, out of the heart of man, which your heart is your mind, which in the in the Hebrew is la'ab. Okay, it says out of the heart or the mind of men proceed evil thoughts. So if you face with evil thoughts, okay, guess what? You're showing that you're unclean. Okay, you sort of you sort of make your you sort of clean yourself. With this word, man. Okay. This word is supposed to uh to cleanse you, man. Um, Ephesians five and twenty six that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Okay. So this word you supposed to get into you once you find out. Okay. For example, you know you ain't supposed to have an evil eye. Okay. You 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 get rid of that uh way of thinking, man. Or evil thoughts, you know, because you you showing that you're not really truly thinking on what Yahweh Bashim Yahshua said. It says adulteries. Scriptures say you're not supposed to lay with another man's wife, man. Okay, fornications, murders, thefts, and we these are all things that we did before, man. Before we came into this truth, it says thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defiled the man. So our spirits were, were defiled before we came into this truth. And now we have to prove that we actually washed the ways of this world off of us, okay, and, and changed and became a new man, okay? We have to show that we have character, man, because we... The Lord gave us the word, okay, of how we as a people, okay, as a as a culture, as as the Israelites, okay, how we supposed to worship him in the truth and in the spirit. Okay. So we was all in a defiled state of mind. Okay? Let me get this. The word uh probate, okay, which it says official proven of a will. Whether you, and that goes into the, the the giving a man you try a man's character by giving him power, okay? You 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 like for example when a guy comes up to the camp and um you know he wants to join the camp, you sit up there and you ask him, hey, why you want to join the camp? You know why you want to, why you want to be in this thing? You put that man on the spot, you give him the power to speak, and then when you see what what he say, you see whether he's Following the will of Yahweh Shem Yahshua or not, okay? And we, you know, we all always hey, prove that with scriptures, man. You know, so it says official proving of a will, a thing proved, tried, which you try the spirit by the spirit, tested, proved, to test, to try, prove, okay? Uh, the verb probate, okay, to prove. Um, uh, from the 1560s, it says to make good esteem, represent is good, make credible, so demonstrate, test, inspect, judge by trial, prove the genuineness of a will to true to truly show if you're really down 
okay, with, your, with changing your ways, okay, in order to get into the kingdom of heaven, okay, to, to, to be a part of the elect, okay, on the, uh, you know, which the elect are going to get in the kingdom on the, on the first, the first try, you know, because they, they, they change their ways, man, okay, this is uh, Titus 1 and 15, unto the pure, all things are pure, and who is the pure, pure? that's the elect, Okay, everything in the scriptures are pure. Okay, everything from from the very first chapter on to the end. Okay, everything is pure. Okay, including the, the apocrypha. It says, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Right. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. And here go the thing: if a man is defiled, okay. Which is unclean, or, or uh, when they when that when that that trial is uh is put on them, you know, and they they prove that they don't have character, you know, nothing that you say to that man is going to get through 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 to his head, you know. You tell that man, hey, we supposed to have patience, man, you know, or or you know, and hey, we not supposed to go to flee Babylon. We supposed to we supposed to wait on y'all by some y'all shot. A man who who isn't a man of the Lord, they not going to get it. And you can't make a man a man of the Lord, man. You know, the Lord only the Lord can do that. Okay? It says they profess that they know Yahweh by some Yahweh, right? So you got people out here that say that they they know the Lord, right? It says, but in works they deny him. When it comes down to the nitty gritty. And, and, and actually showing that you, you know, following the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? You, you're denying the Lord. You're denying and saying that you actually believe. You, or you actually, you deny by showing that you actually believe, okay? It says, being abominable and disobedient and unto every work, good work, reprobate, okay? Meaning somebody who, who lacks judgment, Okay? Somebody who doesn't know, you know, you can't pass the test. Okay? This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 30 because you got a lot of reprobate men out here that are on probation that are going to get that judgment. You know? That that, that they're not, um, they're not uh, being, uh, you know, in fear of your heart by some y'all sign what he, what he says, man. You know? Let me get this scripture. Um, before I get that, um, Jeremiah 6 and 30, reprobate silver, so men call them, okay, was the two thirds, because the Lord have rejected them, okay, the Lord gave you that trial, okay, to check and see what your character is, and you failed the test, okay, this is, um, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not ex executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them, to do evil, you know, so you got people out here that, hey, the Lord ain't, you know, we're going to require that, so I'm going to just go ahead and do what I want to do, you know, and and sooner or later, that judgment is going to come down on them, you know, it says, Romans 14 and 23, and he that doubts is damned if he eat, so you can't, you can't, you, what the scriptures are, are required, you know, or, or referred to as uh, meat, you can't read these, these scriptures and doubt what's in the uh, Bible, man. You can't, you can't, you can't um, read the Bible and claim to be an Israelite and 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 doubt, man. You have to believe that that this is the truth, man. That's that's a part of having faith. You know, believe that this is the truth. Believe that Yahweh Shah is gonna crack them clouds. You know, and that he's gonna destroy uh two thirds. Okay. America, and he's going to set his, his people up that pass the test and so that they have character, man. He's going to set them up. It says, and he that eat, I mean, doubts, is damned if he eat. So if you read in these Bible, I mean, if you read in the Bible and you you doubt and you damned, man, okay, you're cursed. You, 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 you might as well just wait for that judgment to come. It says, because he eats, not of faith. You have to believe on everything that's in these, these scriptures. It says, for whatsoever... It's not a faith, it's sin. Okay? So you basically, you, you sinning, man. Okay? And what is sin? 
transgression of law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Okay? This is Proverbs 25 and 4. It says, take away the dross from the silver, okay, the, the, the things that are refused, okay, when, that, when that, that time comes through the trial, okay, the things that a man doesn't need, it says, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer, okay? What's the, the, the uh, finer? Get the definition. It says to smelt, refine, test, to smelt, refine, smelter, a refiner, a goldsmith, okay, somebody who makes, uh, you know, uh, precious metals, man, okay, he went, he don't, uh, uh, if you know the process of, of, you know, making metals and stuff, you got to get rid of the stuff that, you know, is unnecessary, man, okay, so the Lord is looking for those people that did what he said, okay, that when, when, when it's all said and done, that those people that, that did what he said, they're, they're worthy of reaching that kingdom, okay? This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 27, okay? It says, uh, Whos Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of, of the Lord, okay? So if you uh, read in these scriptures... You getting down to the, you know, uh, knowing that you're an Israelite, you coming to the camp, okay? And you, you, uh, you showing that you're not worthy of this stuff. You, you basically one of the people that, that killed your whole bus, you know, your whole side, man. You know, in, in his servants, you know, which you're not, you're not rolling in, in the right spirit, man. Okay, being a two-third nigga. It says, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Okay, the, you know, you got to examine yourself like, yo, am I really, you know, in this truth or not? Okay? And am I really worthy of this? It says, for he that eats and drink unworthily, eats and drink damnation to himself. So if you, if you got a defiled spirit, man, okay, you might as well just put the Bible down, man. Okay, and not even, you know, well... You, you can take a chance, but you, you, if you ain't doing the right thing, that's, that's the wrong mi mindset to have, man. Because the Lord can end up putting you to death, man. You know, you got to be humble and say, hey, I hope, I hope that the Lord have mercy on me, you know. It says, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. So you got a lot of people who, who claim to be, you know, uh, woke, but they, they really sleep, man. You know, and then you got some brothers who who are uh, weak, you know, or, or sickly, you know, and 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 uh, you know, we through the spirit, we supposed to try to help them brothers out, man, you know, but some brothers just are too weak and they don't want to get it. It says, for if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So you got to find out. Okay, the Bible says, you know, these things to follow a man. I gotta follow his laws, statutes, and commandments. So I'm. This is what I'm going to do, you know. And and when you do what you got to do. The Lord shows favor unto you, and he's like, okay, he's doing what I told him to do. Hey, when when Yahweh Shah returns, come on, you know, you 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 are uh, worthy, okay, of being a vessel for me, okay. Um, continuing on, Jeremiah seventeen and ten, I the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah search the heart. I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways. Okay, so you might come into the truth and you might be on probation. You might do do something messed up. We all do some you know, things messed up. You know? We all do things messed up. But the the the, 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 the worst thing you want to do is just be a nigga and, and just be be straight up wicked. Okay? It says, even to give every man according to his ways. So if you if your ways aren't pleasing to Yah by some outside, he's going to destroy you. Okay, it says, and according to the fruit of their doings. Okay, so the the giving to every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings, that's going into the judgment that the Lord is going to have. Okay, so with that said, you know, our mindset should be on, you know, hey, Lord, as the scriptures say, Proverbs uh, 26 and 1. It says, judge me, O Yahweh Shemuel Shah, 
right? For I have walked in mine integrity. So we we for to add integrity onto our spirit, man. Okay. Um. It was the the Hebrew is tama. It says integrity, completeness, completeness, fullness, innocence, sim simplicity. Okay. So you know, judge me, Lord. You know, hey. You know, I, I I'm trying to keep your word. I'm doing your word. You know, not trying. I'm mean, doing your word. You know, hey, I, I feel like I'm innocent, y'all. But me outside now. You got people that feel like they innocent. They be the most wicked motherfuckers out here, man. You know, the Lord, the Lord, the the the, the Lord covers all factors of the scriptures, man. Okay, and that's why it says complete, man. Okay, on 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 all levels, man. Okay, it says, "Judge me, O Yahweh, see me outside, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord Yahweh, see me outside. Therefore, I should I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahweh, see me outside, and prove me." Okay, what's that word? Prove, probate, to make good. Show me that you know, so that I'm good. Esteem. Represent is good. Make credible so that I'm credible. Okay? Put me put me to the test so that I can show you that I'm really a man of yours and that's all I really want. Okay? That that when that, when them, them hard times come, like a famine come, you ain't gonna go go do uh what the what the scriptures is against. You're gonna demonstrate what the what the Bible says that a man is supposed to be. You know? It says, "Improve me, O Yah, by me outside. Try my reins and my heart." Okay. So with that, man, you know, hopefully this was uh edifying, man. I want to say uh, shalom till next time.